Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a high converting emails using Canva. Whether you're a complete beginner or online store owner on a budget, you don't need Photoshop skills or advanced Figma techniques to make your emails look good. For this example, I'm using Canva, which is more than enough to get started. I'll be putting together a quick email, which you can see here, uh, for the brand Pet Packs Co. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right in. Okay, so when we are in Canva, by the way, this is the free version, I'm not going to use the paid one for this example. Uh, the first thing we want to uh, do is create a custom size and then make the width of 1000 pixels. So usually that's uh, the best practice between 700 and 1000, but uh, we like to design our emails in 1000 and the height. It really depends on how long the email will be, but you can change that later. So usually we start at around 3500. So now we have the blank template here and we want to uh, go and upload our elements that we are going to use. This will be the uh, the brand logo, the products that we are going to, to uh, feature in the email and so on. Okay, so when everything is uploaded, we are ready to start. So let's move the logo, all our emails and not just our emails, but most of the, the brands emails start with uh, the logo on top. So you just want to place it at the center. By the way, when you, when you move the logo, you can see that uh, line there. This means that it's now centered. And when you uh, just click uh, the left, click on the mouse, it is centered. You can be sure about that. By the way, you can also click the right button on and then center, choose to, to align to the page. The next thing we want to do is create the actual header and the above the fold section. The above the fold section is what people see when they open the email without scrolling. And it's, it is the most important part of the email. Uh, so most of the clicks, uh, if you go into analytics of your emails, most of the clicks will be on the exact above the fold section uh, of the email. So it is super important to fit a header image, header text, subheader text, like the offer, if you're giving offer in this email and a clear call to action button. Okay, great. So we have the background, so we are going to resize that. Uh, it is super easy with the elements. Okay, now it's time to place the text. So we just want to place a heading. Let's edit it. When you select the text, you can change the font. So we are going to use Poppins uh, in this example. And it is black, I think. No, it is both. Okay. Uh, now we can resize it and we will place it around here. So now we have another element in this design, which is again, uh, something like a rectangular. Let's change the color, make it smaller and something like this. Okay. Now you can select both elements holding shift and then you can uh, select Command or Control and G. This will group the elements and when you move these, these will move uh, together. So we can create everything centered and good looking. Okay, the next thing, let's add the, uh, the product here. Uh, okay, now we will uh, continue with the text. By the way, let's add another heading. It is Poppins. You can actually, you can copy and paste this one and not create everything from, from scratch, but yeah. Let's ungroup these because we have the same element here. Copy, paste it, and let's move it right here. But we have another product, so let's upload the other product okay it is here let's resize it a bit and great okay so that looks good so uh, by the way the example the emo is built in figma which is a bit more advanced but as i said uh, you can see that we can make pretty much the same thing here in canva as well okay let's add our subheader text okay Position the subheader 
and it's time to add the call to action button. Again, go to elements, click on the rectangular, move it here, let's change the color, it will be white, and let's position the call to action. So our call to action corners are a little bit more rounded, like this, and yeah, perfect. Center it, and we need to add the text, Okay, that looks pretty good so far. So now we have to add our dog here, which is appearing. So again, it is just a PNG. So as you can see, there is a background here that's been removed, but you can do that with a lot of online apps. I'm not going to show how this is done for this example. And let's resize the dog. It's perfect. Okay, so let's continue with demo. Now, um, just for me to quickly explain this, this is the above default section, so everyone will see this, no matter if they scroll on the email or not, if they open the email, of course. So they can see the, the deal, that there is a deal here. Uh, we are offering a PAX and we have a call to action button right away. So they can click and they don't have to scroll and to read the full email in order to, to go into our website. So this part includes, again, the body text starts here and uh, yeah, let me add that text and continue. Okay, we are ready with the text. Now we have uh, some kind of an icon here. Let's move it and resize it and place it right there. Okay, below it's our first section actually with uh, the product feature. So uh, let's create it. Again, let's choose the rectangular from uh, the header that we started making and create the background of the product future. Let me change the color really quick and continue. So now we have our both of our products here. So again, it's pretty easy. You just have to, uh, oops, not that one, this one and that one. You just drag and drop these. So Okay, so we just have to place these and resize. Okay, this looks good. If you want to move one product then uh, above the other one, you just have to click, right click uh, and then show layers and you see your layers here. And if you move these, this one will go up and vice versa. So, yeah, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So let's uh, create the section. So now we need another rectangular here and let's move it this way. That is for the price. So it will be white and we need some stroke. So we can add the stroke here it's called border here and now go to layers, show layers and let's move that one below the other one. Okay, now we want to add our pricing. Let's add text box again and uh, continue with the rest. Now, as you can see, there is just a line there. So you can go to shapes and draw a line, but I lost it, so let's find the line. It is where it is. Okay, yeah. Let's move it down here. Okay, this section is almost ready. We just need to strike through the pricing and done. Yeah, I know it's not exactly the same font and colors, but it's just an example. I want to show you how you can actually design your emails in Canva. And the idea is not to do a, an exact copy of the email. So yeah, let me just, just make this bigger because it bugs me. Okay. Okay, so that's 
good now and clear so we have one more section so when you when we already have this we don't have to build it from scratch so we can just copy and paste it and by holding shift you can move it uh, below so let's move it right here we have some text again so let's copy and paste this here and let's center it first let's ungroup and let me add the text real quick okay great so let's continue with the second section it's uh, exactly the same thing so we just have different products here we have this stack plus bone so let's move these a little bit on the left and let's find the bone okay there it is so let's add the bone here let's resize it place it somewhere here that's it okay and the last thing that we want to do is just to change the the pricing because it's a different product but we are all done fetch all three and perfect okay so as you see we have almost the same thing on the on the right uh, some titles are not uh, the same font and sizing but yeah whatever it works for uh, for me to show you how you can design your emails here so now we have to implement the email to Klaviyo and then send it to our audience so it's pretty easy there are two ways of doing that the first way you just need Klaviyo the second way you just need Klaviyo and Photoshop so I'll show you both ways using Photoshop it's a little bit better but if you don't have Photoshop you can still send your emails uh, with uh, Canva and Klaviyo only okay let's go to share download let's choose a JPEG and download great so we now have our email which is here and is very good looking we have the CDAs the CTA here the CDA here so everything is great and good to go let's go to Klaviyo go to campaigns create new campaign let's continue select the list next and choose blank email and let's start building our email here so first you want to get rid of all the elements uh, if if there is a bug because sometimes it's a bug you cannot delete this section if you move it like this here you can you'll be able to do it so yeah you just need one section and your footer basically so let's start and drop an image then select an image upload and let's choose our email okay as you can see we already have our email here but we are not ready yet because we need to crop a little bit more because we have three different links and the same we have the first link which goes to all the products the second which go to the duo bundle and the third one what the? okay uh, and the third one which goes to the three product bundle so now we have to crop and choose the first layer let's go like this this will be the the first link and click save now we have our header the subheader and the call to action so we can put the old text and we can place the link then you just have to duplicate click crop and move the second layer here let's choose just the first product because we have a third one click save now you can add your alt text for this one at the link and then let's choose the third one crop and move it like this yeah and pretty much this email is good to go you're ready okay let me show you now the second option which is using Photoshop which is the better way of doing that because you have optimized images and they will load faster when uh, your customers open your email in their inbox okay when you open Photoshop go to file open choose the email and then choose the slicing tool which is right here where the crop is we need that one slice tool, and start slicing your email so 
This is the same thing that we did in Klaviyo, but this time we are slicing it here on Photoshop. So you want to have as many slices as links you have in the, the exact demo. So we have three and then go to file, export, save for web legacy and click. So change the, the, the quality to 50 and make sure it is JPEG here. Click save and it will make a zip for you and inside will be the slices so we don't need that one this was the, the last blank one and when we are ready we want to go to tinypng.com which is a free online software that will make our images and slices even uh, less like um, more optimized as you can see here we saved 33 percent and it will not going to hurt the quality of the, the slices and the email and go back to Klaviyo so now it is the same process. So we just want to replace or upload the new slices, which are optimized. And you can see the same thing, but a lot less in size. So yeah, that's pretty much it. When you put the alt text and your links, you're pretty much ready to go. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.